Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. All right, Yahweh's name of the Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba in ha the sham name. Yahweh Shai, meaning the begotten Son, meaning He delivered, He saves. Rechak, Wadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and others, great most of them well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. All right, back at it again with another list of spirit of power. Yah, Bashem Shai, Lord, one of us, and edifying, man. We're going to get right into it through the spirit. We got this link right here. As you can see, this link is going into how you have um, a school in Utah wanting to ban the Bible. Or actually, they banned it. All right, it says Bible banned from Utah elementary and middle schools for vulgarity or violence, man. All right. And so this is nothing but just a lead up to the famine of the word and see the hypocrisy of it is, you know, they'll uh, allow transformers and drag to read to the children, read books about sodomy and wickedness, right, to the children. But the scriptures is banned. This is just to show, uh, goes to show you what type of um, society we live in, man. All right, they call evil good and good evil, man. Everything in this place is backwards and a turned upside down. The Lord's getting ready to turn this place right side up, man. You know, and of course, they ban the scriptures because ultimately this is prophecy and also they're a wicked society. So they hate righteousness. It says, in the beginning, a parent filed a challenge to have the Bible removed from David School District libraries, citing passages describing sex and violence. The district said let there be a review of the book and it was so now the committee appointed by the district to review the complaint and decided if the bible is appropriate for students access has made its determination high schools in davis will keep the religious text on the shelf but it will be removed from elementary and middle schools for containing vulgarity or violence according to the salt lake tribune the this that decision on the book challenge which gained national attention when it was first reported on in march see in a, you know just to cut the article off real quick it's funny because a lot of those same video games that those children play in those ages, all right, promote both vulgarity and violence, okay? A lot of the music that's being pushed, that children at that age still hear, pushes what? Vulgarity and violence, all right? A lot of the TV shows they watch, the cartoons, the YouTube videos they watch pushes vulgarity and violence. But yet when it comes to the scriptures, oh, no, 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 we got to do away with the scriptures now. You know, because that's really what actually holds weight. The scriptures, man. You know, everything else truly is vanity. But nonetheless, I digress. It says, uh, which gained national attention when it was first reported on in March. It will take effect immediately, said Davis School District spokesperson Christopher Williams in an email to the Salt Lake Tribune this week. Right. He believes there are seven or eight elementaries and middle schools in the district that have copies of the Bible that will now be removed as the school year wraps up. The scripture was first challenged in December by a parent who wrote in their complaint that they were frustrated by the books being removed from school libraries in recent months with conservative groups across the country in Utah taking aim at literature they call inappropriate and which has particularly focused on books written about the LGBTQ community. So the parents submitted their request for a review of the Bible, saying it was time to remove one of the most sex ridden books around. Right. So now, you know, a person wanted to get rid of the LGBTQ. So now they're trying to sh shoot shots back at getting rid of the scriptures, man. <laughs> Wickedness. Back in March, Fox 13 News content sharing partners at Salt Lake Tribune obtained a par parent's petition who wrote Utah's Parents United left off one of the most sex ridden books around. The Bible, you'll know, you'll no doubt find that the Bible has no serious values for minors because it's pornographic by our new definition. And you see, this is nothing but a bunch of malarkey, man. Okay, a bunch of BS, you know, and the Bible does address, you know, the act of sex. All right. The Bible does address violence. But, you know, at the end of the day, okay, the Lord gives you the wisdom of what it's truly about. Okay, and the fact of it, the fact of the matter is, you know, they're worried about our children learning about sex. But why are they teaching our children about changing their sex at a young age if they please? Why are they teaching our children that men on men is okay, that women on women is okay? Okay, 
Why are they doing that then? Why are they teaching for the women to be masculine and be like men? And why are they teaching for the men to be effeminate like women? Because the Bible teaches you otherwise. You know? And they know that. That's why they try to do away with it. Okay, not to make this too long. Uh, you can get the uh, the article on end time headlines. All right, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in the description box. You know the link. If the link is still there by the time this video gets uploaded, Lord willing. But just to pull out a few precepts. Okay, this book of Job twenty and four. Knowest thou? Knowest thou? Not this of old, since the man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, right? So Esau, your joy is going down, but for a moment, man. Okay? You, you're getting ready to be cut off. You know, that's saith the Lord. All right? And, you know, the famine of the word is coming. Why? This is prophecy. It has to come. But they also hate him that rebuketh in the gate, man. Amos 5 and 10. It says, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. That's right. So that's why they're trying to do away with the scriptures. You go to Amos 8 and 11, it tells you what? It says, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. This is prophecy being fulfilled right before our eyes. 2023, year of the hopeful, all the hopeful prophecies coming to pass, man. And it's, and it's going to get worse, you know? There was a little article that came out the other day where it was it said it tells you how in Korea a two year old um got casted into life in prison because their parents were found with a Bible. Man, this goes to show you we're at the end. Amos eight and twelve and it says, And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. That's right. And don't worry, there is a famine of food and water coming too. But you know, the true food and the true water is these scriptures, and there's a famine of that coming as well, man. We get another precept, Second Ezra chapter five, verse nine. It says, "And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself in understanding, withdraw itself into a secret chamber, and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontency be multiplied upon earth. One land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh the man righteous gone through thee?' And it shall say, No. At the same time." Shall men hope, but nothing obtain? They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper, man. Right. Because the Lord is getting ready to judge this earth. But like it says, which shall hide itself? Understanding going into a secret chamber. The Lord is getting ready to cut off that word from being easily accessible, man. And see, the hypocrisy of Esau and Edom is in uh, the year of 1983, Ronald Reagan proclaimed the Bible to be the, um, the book of America. Okay, and here is the proclamation right here. You can look it up. Proclamation 5018, February 3rd, 1983. 97 Statute 1545. Okay. Then you got, this is the beginning of the article, or the or the document, rather. And this is the uh, second behalf of it. All right. So, you know, that's the point right there, man. So that's the hypocrisy of Esau, Edom. Whatever happened to the Bible being the book of America... You know, but that's because to show you that we are at the end, and this place truly was never about Yahweh Bashmel Shai. <laughs> that's why it's going to say they spake, they had two horns like a lamb, but they spake as a dragon. The two horns as a lamb is America trying to, you know, uh, play docile like they're a Christian believing nation, they're such a godly people, right? But it says they spake as a dragon, meaning what they executed those draconian legislations, which they're going to be bringing more and more. Okay, and also the two horns like a lamb represent the um, Republicans and the Democrats, all right, which is the modern day uh, patricians and plebeians. Okay, the Republicans would be the patricians and the Democrats would be the plebeians, man. Going back to Rome, because this is Rome all over again. And Esau was never about the most high. That's why the scripture says that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee, man. That's what Esau is doing. He's casting the word of the Lord behind him, man. He's a deaf adder. All right. You know, deaf adder that will not hearken to charmers, charming ever so wisely. Those charmers, charming wisely are the prophets out there teaching the word. But Esau, he stops his ears because it's not meant for him. So don't be marveled and shaken in mind 
when you see this devil ban the Bible, that's in his nature. Okay? <laughs> and that's prophecy being fulfilled. So call Allah and Allah, Yabashim Ashai. All right? And I'm also going to show you how hypocritical this place truly is. But with that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Ashai, Bashim Akakwadash, the Barnes, the Apostle of the Great Muslims.